Hi, I'm Sarah Newton and I'm an expert at working with families and young people. When parents come to me, there's two questions that they ask me the most, and that is, how do I get my teenager to start doing something and how do I get my teenager to stop doing something? And essentially, the, the answer is really simple, is that you start to talk to them and communicate with them in a different way. So what I'm going to give you here is some ways to do that. So let's first look at how do I get my teenager to start doing something. There's a four-step system that I use in my clients, and I'm going to share that with you now. First of all, you tell them what you're giving them responsibility for. Secondly, you tell them what the conditions are around that. Thirdly, you tell them what you will and will not do. And fourthly, you, you, you just basically tell them that you're going to trust them and what do they need from you. So let me give you an example here. Let's say um, your wonderful little son, James, is not putting his laundry in the washing basket. I'm sure that most of you um, have that situation at home. Here is how you would use that using the, that system. So first of all, you'd say, you know, James, I think you're old enough now to take responsibility for your own laundry. You need, your laundry needs to be in the basket on Friday evening because I'm only washing on Saturday. If your washing isn't in the basket on Friday night, then it won't get washed. I'm not going to come into your room and pick it up and I'm not going to wash on any other day. However, if you do need something outside of that, I'll show you how to use the washing machine. I trust that you can do this. Is there anything that you need from me? That simple. Now let's move on to what you do when you want your teen to stop doing something. Again, a four-step system. You observe the behaviour, you tell them how it makes you feel, you tell them what you need, and then you make a request. So that's, um, let's take a girl this time. Let's say you've got Anna who leaves her school bag constantly in the hallway. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have that going on at home. So first of all, you would say, Anna, I notice when I come home, your bag is in the hallway. When I come home from work and I see your bag, it makes me feel exhausted. It makes me feel like what I want doesn't matter. When I come home, I need the hallway to be cluttered free. Please put your bag away. Now, I know that these ways of speaking may seem a little strange and a little different, but believe me, if you keep using them, they will work. And the key here is consistency. Most people try something three times um, and then assume it's not working. To break a habit and break a pattern, you're going to need to try something for probably about 30 days. So if you can go into your home now, use these tools and use them consistently for four weeks, I can guarantee you will see results.